Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unmanned. UAS Integration Pilot Program Selectees Announced. Proposed Drone Regulation Rules Sent to the White House. And DJI Introduces V2.0 Edition of the Phantom 4 Pro. Hello, I'm Laura Hudson. Welcome to the Aero News Network's Airborne Unmanned Program, a weekly news program covering all things unmanned in partnership with AUVSI, the Association for Unmanned Vehicle Systems International. DOT has selected 10 state, local, and tribal governments as participants in the UAS Integration Pilot Program. First announced last October, this White House initiative partners with FAA with local, state, and tribal governments which then partner with private sector participants to safely explore the further integration of drone operations. Data gathered from these pilot projects will form the basis of a new regulatory framework to safely integrate drones into our national airspace, says Secretary Chow. The 10 selectees are Chogda Nation of Oklahoma, Durant, Oklahoma, City of San Diego, California, Innovation and Entrepreneurship Investment Authority, Herndon, Virginia. Kansas Department of Transportation, Topeka, Kansas. Lee County Mosquito Control District, Fort Myers, Florida. Memphis Shelby County Airport Authority, Memphis, Tennessee. North Carolina Department of Transportation, Raleigh, North Carolina. North Dakota Department of Transportation, Bismarck, North Dakota. City of Reno, Nevada and University of Alaska Fairbanks, Fairbanks, Alaska. According to AUVSI, in the first three years of integration, more than 70,000 jobs will be created in the United States, with an economic impact of more than $13.6 billion. This benefit will grow through 2025, when they foresee more than 100,000 jobs created and economic impact of $82 billion. In the next Unmanned Minute, let's take a brief look at a few of the shorter stories that are making the rounds of the unmanned vehicle communities. DJI and Microsoft has announced a strategic partnership to bring advanced AI and machine learning capabilities to DJI drones, helping businesses harness the power of commercial drone technology and edge cloud computing. Using applications written for Windows 10 PCs, DJI drones can be customized and controlled for a wide variety of industrial uses, with full flight control and real-time data transfer capabilities, making drone technology accessible to Windows 10 customers, numbering nearly 700 million globally. As lawmakers and regulators are examining the safe expansion and integration of unmanned aircraft systems into the national airspace, ALPA reminded the United States Senate that ensuring the safety of airline passengers and crew members remained the highest priority. ALPA said it has long supported the robust development of UAS technology with one single overriding condition. Integration of UAS into the national airspace must be done safely, deliberately, thoughtfully, and with full understanding and proper mitigation of the possible risks. Aspiring drone pilots now have a convenient way to continue their studies, even when they are offline, by using the free King Companion app for iPad or iPhone together with King School's online drone pilot license test prep course. The app allows drone pilots who are preparing for the FAA Part 107 Remote Pilot Knowledge Test to download their lessons, including all texts, graphics, videos, and post-lesson quizzes, and take them when offline. When back online, course progress is automatically synchronized with King servers. A new solar electric UAV, which has the potential to fly up for one year before needing maintenance, has become a step closer to reality following a new agreement between two cutting-edge British companies, BAE Systems and Prismatic. Engineers from Prismatic and BAE Systems will collaborate on the development of the new solar-powered high-altitude long-endurance UAV, known as FASA 35, with work already underway to prepare the first aircraft to be ready for flight test in 2019. That was our Unmanned Minute, now back to the rest of the news. 
Two proposed drone rules have been sent to the White House by the DOT, even as the agency was unveiling the 10 winners of UAV pilot projects. One aspect of the rules would allow flight over populated areas and gatherings of people. The other would allow for tracking of unmanned aircraft in flight and remote identification of those aircraft. Once formally proposed, it could take up to a year before they are finalized and become policy. The FAA says that the regulations are necessary to protect the public and manned aircraft from drones flown by unaware hobbyists or potential criminal elements. Current rules prohibit flights at night or operations over people without a specific waiver from the FAA. There are no requirements or even voluntary standards for broadcasting identification information from a drone. Fans of the iconic DJI Phantom drone can look forward to the release of the Phantom 4 Pro V2.0. The P4P V2.0 uses DJI's OcuSync transmission technology for high resolution and low latency digital video transmission and improves the flight experience by reducing propeller noise by up to 60%. Users who utilize FPV for work or play can directly connect the P4P V2.0 with their DJI goggles for an immersive FPV flying experience. The drone boasts 30 minutes of flight time, 7 kilometers transmission range, 5 directional obstacle sensing system, and 1 inch CMOS sensor with 4K at 60 frame video recording capabilities. Retaining its iconic wide airframe, the P4P V2.0 also has a Phantom 4 Pro Plus V2.0 version, which comes with a 5.5 inch 1080p resolution screen built into the remote controller for operators who often fly outdoors under direct sunlight. The Phantom 4 Pro V2.0 is now available for a retail price of $1,499, which includes the aircraft battery, remote controller, four pairs of propellers, battery charger, power cable, gimbal clamp, micro USB cable, micro SD card, and carrying case. The Phantom 4 Pro Plus V2.0 retails at $1,799 and includes all P4P V2.0 accessories, but with a 5.5-inch monitor built into the remote controller. Well, that's our program for this week. In addition to this program, our daily Airborne Unlimited episodes covering the entire aviation and aerospace world are streamed on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and tweet us. Get comprehensive, real-time, 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. And more information on the innovative world of all things unmanned at auvsi.org and airborne-unmanned.net. We'll see you next week.